If you had to pick only one way to consume chia seeds for health, this video will save you years of trial and error. Welcome back to the Mind Hunters. Today, we are putting chia seeds in milk, water, and yogurt to find out which one really absorbs better and why it matters for your health. Chia seeds are often labeled as a superfood, but most people never unlock their full benefits. The reason is simple, how you consume chia seeds matters just as much as eating them. Before we compare liquids, we need to clarify what absorption means in this context. Chia seeds are rich in soluble fiber, especially mucilage. When exposed to liquid, this fiber swells and forms a gel. So absorption here refers to how well the fiber hydrates, how comfortably it moves through the gut, and how efficiently nutrients are used by the body. So, let us begin with the simplest and most studied method, chia seeds in water. In plain water, chia seeds hydrate fully without interference. The mucilage expands evenly and forms a smooth gel. This method allows maximum fiber activation. The gel passes gently through the digestive tract, improving stool consistency and reducing constipation. It also slows carbohydrate absorption, which helps control blood sugar spikes. This method is best for people focused on gut health, individuals trying to lose weight, and people with lactose intolerance or sensitive digestion. To make, use one tablespoon of chia seeds, add to one glass of water, soak for at least 30 minutes or overnight, stir once or twice to prevent clumping, and consume on an empty stomach or between meals. Now let us examine chia seeds soaked in milk, whether dairy or plant-based. Milk contains protein and fat. When chia seeds absorb milk, gel formation still occurs, but milk proteins partially coat the fiber surface. Fiber hydration is slightly reduced compared to water. However, dietary fat improves the absorption of omega-3 fatty acids present in chia seeds. This makes milk-based chia more energy-dense and nutritionally rich, but also heavier on digestion. This method benefits people aiming for weight gain or muscle support, and individuals with strong digestion and no lactose issues. To make, add one tablespoon of chia seeds to one cup of milk, soak for one to two hours or overnight. It is best consumed with breakfast or after exercise. Remember that it is not ideal for people with bloating, lactose intolerance, or slow digestion. Now let us examine chia seeds soaked in yogurt. Yogurt adds another dimension because it is both fermented and probiotic rich. Yogurt is thicker than water or milk. Chia seeds absorb moisture more slowly forming a denser gel. Immediate fiber hydration is lower than water, but yogurt supports long-term digestion by improving gut microbiota. This can enhance mineral absorption and bowel regularity over time, rather than instantly. This method benefits people focused on gut balance and microbiome health, and those with mild constipation. To make, add one tablespoon of chia seeds into plain, unsweetened yogurt, and let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes consume as part of a meal rather than on an empty stomach. Remember that it is not suitable for people with dairy sensitivity or histamine intolerance. If absorption means maximum fiber hydration and immediate digestive benefit, water performs best. If absorption means better omega-3 utilization and calorie support, milk offers an advantage. And if absorption means long-term gut adaptation and microbiome support, yogurt stands out. There is no single best option for everyone. The right choice depends on your health goal. Beginners should start with one teaspoon per day and always increase fluid intake when consuming chia seeds. Never consume dry chia seeds, especially if you have swallowing difficulties. People with IBS, SIBO, or sensitive digestion should start with very small amounts. Individuals on blood thinning medication should consult a healthcare professional first. Chia seeds are powerful, but preparation decides their impact. Choose the method that aligns with your body and your health goal. If you found this breakdown useful, consider subscribing to the channel. You can also support our work by joining the channel membership. Thanks for watching. We wish you good health.